and displays around campus, the fire service want to remind students about the dangers of being careless in their homes and careless on the streets of Sheffield. Josh Sweet and I went to talk to fire safety officer Phil Shaletto to find out how students can help avoid dangerous accidents. We'd just like to have a bit of a chat about uh, safety in the home, which uh, is about cooking related incidents. I'm sure many of uh, your students are aware of the dangers of chip pan fires and, uh, and cooking with uh, open fat pans. So we'd recommend people to use either oven chips or thermostatically controlled fryers. Um, a lot of students will have brought electrical equipment with them, they'll have brought the laptop computers, they'll have brought the straighteners, etc. And again, we do get fires in uh, the adapters, the transformers. So we just ask students to be cautious about leaving them on um, while they're uh, unattended. Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg has officially opened a major solar farm on the roof of the Hicks building. The project is part of a £120,000 investment by the Higher Education Funding Council for England and it will allow scientists to test new cell designs and gain further knowledge of renewable energy sources. Thanks to RAG, the university's Raising and Giving Society, the Barnsley Cancer Relief Charity has been able to stay open. 140 students took part in the RAG's treasure hunt event, raising a total of £18,000. The money was donated to three local Sheffield charities and Barnsley Cancer Relief was one of them. The £6,000 donation means the charity can now continue to stay open and help local people suffering with cancer. Megan Colley and Megan Smith went to talk to the treasurer of Barnsley Cancer Relief, Siobhan North, and RAG chair, Emma Harabin. hard to raise money. We have plenty of people wanting it. But, uh, uh, and yes, the effect of £6,000 a student raise, raise, I mean, we were thinking, can we continue? We've got, you know, the money's going, we don't, some charities just spend the interest on their money. We don't, we spend what need, what's, what's needed, you know, we don't refuse people just because it's going to cut down our reserves. And our reserves have been going down and down over the years. Your £6,000 or student £6,000 Double to the bank balance. We're, just, we're so pleased and we're so proud that we've managed to make that much of a difference. Obviously, we well, it's it's not me personally. Like the committee as a whole are absolutely fantastic, and we've got a really dedicated team of ragamuffins who at all of our events support everything we do. And then, obviously, nothing that we do would be possible without the support of the students and the local community. So, it's down to them that we've raised this amount of money. The newly renovated Students' Union building has been officially opened by the Vice-Chancellor Professor Keith Burnett and the Students' Union President Josh Forstenza in a prestigious ceremony last week. The project cost a total of £5 million and began in November 2009. It has seen a main entrance added to the front of the building and a new entrance to Bar 1 on Glossop Road. The Union shop has also been modernised. Michaela Sykes and I went to the opening ceremony where past and present union officers, staff and students gathered to thank the people behind the scenes who made the project such a success. I just want to say a couple of things. And the first one really is to thank all of the people involved with the Union of Students for being such a fantastic union. That's the deal for this university. You are the most powerful and effective part of the university and we're very, very proud of you indeed. And if this new building and the things that are in it and the things that you do are the same as you've done in the past and manifest the very, very powerful and wonderful effect you have on this university, I'm gonna be very proud.
at first it was just a relatively small amount of work on level three. Uh, and it's been a pretty long time, but ultimately it's been a satisfying journey to be standing here today celebrating the completion of the redevelopment works. We've achieved far more with the support of the university than we'd hoped at the outset. And we thank the university, obviously, for its support, both moral and financial, in making this project happen. A key part of our strategic plan, Vision 2012, as some of you might have heard about, uh, was to develop a landmark new building and love or hate the gold cladding, I think you'll agree, we have achieved the outlined aim. So nice to see so many of you here. We've got some fantastic performances from lots of different societies here tonight. And the first one of which is Hip Hop Society, which will be taking place over there in one second. So please go and gather around and take a look. Thank you. The University of Sheffield's Film Unit has won the British Federation of Film Society's prestigious award of Best Student Society. In addition to showing affordable movies to the University of Sheffield's students at the Students' Union, the award was achieved because of the charity work the Society has recently adopted into their agenda. They faced extremely stiff competition from Warwick Student Cinema and Exeter University Campus Cinema, but they came out victorious. And finally, a student from the University of East London broke into the University House after attending Pop Tarts last Saturday and defecated on the floor of the main restaurant area. He was later found passed out with a friend on the floor by security staff who threw him out of the building immediately. That's all for Union News today, but here's Rob Ainley with a roundup of the National Student News.